Well, how do there, Charles Design, Captain of the Steves. Now, inside of the expedition that just ended, well, it's ended for me because I converted my save, the Adrift Expedition, I was gifted one of these ghost frigates. Now, I didn't have enough room inside of my frigate fleet for said ghost frigate, but I've just dismissed a frigate. I'm going to go and claim it, and I'm going to put it into my fleet, and we're going to send it out on some expediciones, mainly because I want to see if it comes back with any lore. Now, there was some law inside of the actual um, expedition itself when it came to these ghost frigates. And I only came across maybe two snippets of that law. However, there's four lines of text. And I was watching Ghost Light's video on the law breakdown, everything law related inside of the expedition. And he's got some very interesting takes and some very interesting speculations to be had. He's joined dots that I did not even see. I mean, I saw the lore as being quite airy-fairy, a little bit light on the ground, with subtle hints, subtle hints towards the Void Mother and the Realm of Glass. Anyway, I think he did a fantastic job, and I would urge you to go and watch Ghost Light's video on the lore from the Adrift Expedition. It might contain slight spoilers of the expedition, so if you haven't completed the expedition or you want to learn the lore yourself, perhaps don't hit it up. But here you go. There's a link to Ghost Light's video up there. I'm also going to put it inside of the video description because I know on smart TVs, when I'm doing this, nothing actually appears. Yeah. And sometimes on some smart devices it don't work either. But on laptops and stuff, you get the link. Anyhow, I'm going to run over here. I'm going to go and claim that uh, lovely ghost frigate right now. But I'm also going to get a section of Ghost Light's video. I've asked him if I, if I could use it. And I'll show you the bits of lore in a second. So there you go. Let's... um. Claim Expedition Reward, and I want to claim this, please. Heck yes. Add to fleet. Done, diddly, and done. Right, now we can go and send it on missions. Now, I'm hearing rumour that you can send this lovely little frigate out on missions without giving it any fuel. That, if that's a thing, that's pretty cool. A little bit like the old Normandy. You can send that out, I think, without using any fuel. And again, this one hasn't got a crew. Or at least I don't think it has. Or has it? Has it got a ghost crew? Am I going to have ghosty people walking around on my freighter? I don't know. So all this sort of stuff is what I want to find out this episode, people. I want to send it out on some missions. I want to see what sort of mission brief I get when I debrief this from a mission. So I want to send it on the shortest possible mission I can and then show you the debriefing of it. So here we go, let's jump on out then. Let's go and have a look, see? Oh, and I've got that law coming up in a moment, the, the couple of lines and what I think those lines might mean. So let's head on over here, boom. Head on over to this chappy. And uh, let's send this frigate out on a mission, shall we? View potential expeditions. I'm going to send it on this combat one. Uh, no, no, actually, it's, I'm going to send it on the shortest one. So just a voyage of discovery. Assign a ship. And I want to assign my latest ship, which is a ship of the damned. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Doomed. Very cool. Hold on. Why do these... Oh, they're, they're raiders. Yeah, I've got a couple of pirate ones. There we go. We'll send that then. And look. If you get fuel required. None. You're, the, the people are right. Okay, and its discovery is quite high. Its combat is fairly high. It's only a two-star rating. My fleet, on its own, it's a three-star on its own. Heck yeah. Go, ship of the damned. Okay, well, I want to go up to the terminal, and I want to see exactly what this terminal looks like when I interact with it. There we go. Let's, let's go and have a look what they say. Fleet command online. Camera rating fleet... Uh, a bass of the ship of the demand. Speak to the commander. All right, let's see who it is. Greetings, Captain. The expedition has covered 196 light years. I estimate our plotted route would take further one hour, 22 systems. Okay, inspect ships. I didn't think it had. I didn't think it had a freaking fleet. Ship company drowned in the stars. Who am I talking to then? Some sort of poltergeist? I mean, look, there's nobody there. Mmm. Sneaky. All right, anyway, I'll be back in one hour and 22 minutes. And for now, though, I'm going to play you that little section of Ghost Lights video. OK, so here's the section. Let's hit play. So is that it? 
Did we come to this abandoned universe just to look into the void and have it look back? Well, Sean Murray, when announcing this update, pointed out that there is hidden lore to be found. Raging Furball points out that this is highlighted with a ghost emoji, as if taunting me directly. But <laughs> it may be a clue to point us in the right direction. The ghost forgets! Now, I said that the anomaly at the gravesite was the only voice we quote here during the expedition. But that's not exactly true. You see, throughout the expedition, we are met by a ghost frigate. Yep. encounters outside of the normal expedition milestones. These seem random for some, others say they coincide with certain milestones. Either way, this frigate is one that we would eventually adopt as a phase reward. And during each encounter, we're presented with new lines of text. It was not always this way. We were many. We were one. We will be again. One by one, the boundaries weakened. The crimson ebbs begin to fade. The lost and abandoned will become dissonant. A signal in the noise will unite those who roam alone. Okay, now, Ghostlight has got his own sort of analogy of what all this sort of means and his own sort of speculations and tie-ins. And I must say, they're freaking brilliant. And they do sort of parallel mine in many a way. I mean, I feel that this is the Echoes and the Void Mother trying to put them all back together again, bring them back into the verse and bring them back into iteration. These are the old Echoes from Corvax Prime before it became Cor uh, Void Prime and... The Echoes are the old Corvax souls that have been rehoused inside of the autophages now. That's what I believe. And where it talks about the Crimson Ebb, it's kind of their union with the Atlas is ebbing away. And now they're becoming more Atlantid, is, is my simplistic terms. And the dissonant signal and maybe the sound and the noise, maybe that might tie into a little bit of the void because we've got the, the sound of the void egg. There was a melody of the egg and all that sort of stuff. I kind of feel that maybe there's a relationship with the void and maybe the autophages i don't know whether we're going to see an organic race you know like the flesh mask that we got from the tainted metal chap anymore but at the same time i do wonder because when we've done the actual expedition adrift we did see a lot of the worms jumping about and we've got the little infested eggs about it almost feels the void is related to organics not these synthetics. So I still feel that there's a separation. I kind of feel that the autophages are from the realm of glass, whereas the things from the void are more organic and pustule and a bit more horror-esque. So I'm wondering whether we might be teaming up with the autophage to take on something organic and a little bit more horror-looking in future. But I could be wrong. Anyway, if you want to see what Ghostlight has to say on all of this, it's freaking awesome. Jump on over to Ghostlight's channel. I, I'm just going to play ahead and see if there's any more snippets of line. I thought there was a little bit more than this, but we'd hit play to see if there's a page two. So, whose voice is speaking to us in these encounters? The Void Mother? Other travelers? The crew? Well, if it is the Void Mother... No, this is where he goes into his speculation. I don't want to ruin any more, but that's enough, I'm hoping, to have you go, hold on, what does he think? Is it the Void Mother? Is it the Autophages? What is it? Is it some sort of ghost in the shell? Head on over to his channel, give him a watch. You'd be glad you did. I mean, he's got such an awesome voice and his edits are brilliant. The way that he puts his No Man's Sky videos together is great. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of time for Ghostlight. He's a lovely guy as well, which does help. Okay, chums of the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed I've changed. Clavy. Yeah, it's sometime later, to be fair. So let's head on over and let's see if we can debrief. Yes, we can. Cool, yeah. Fleet Commander, online. Calibrating to Fleet Abbas of the ship of the demand. Uh, yeah, cool. Debrief Commander. Okay, so there's log entries and stuff. Observe flora and fauna symbiosis on planet Thayhassan... An armor-plated herbivore living in the branches of a spine-covered tree, creature nested safely in the tree at night, and by day will distribute seeds as it searched the ground for food. I got eight sack venoms. Okay, cool. Log entry 440. 
ingested unusual sig signals on planet Erok Delta. Source was Viking Broadcast Tower decoded signal. Broadcast was long piece of plan plain song, an oral history of her canal recorded and archived. Okay, collected data in the. This is this is just like any other. I'm not seeing anything that assumes or makes out that there's ghosts or autophages aboard this ship. Rather strange, rather curious. So I don't really know who is on this ship from reading this. It gives no hint. There you go. Crew located valuable carnivorous plants. Plant recovered. One crew member consumed. Well, how many crew is on it? And if it did consume him and he's an autophage, well, that's a metal guy that's just got consumed. I don't know. I don't know. I think Hello Games has just lifted and shifted any old code from any old frigate to this frigate. I don't think we're going to learn anything from doing this, to be honest, people. So it does feel that the only pieces of lore tied to this ghost-type ship are inside of the Adrift Expedition. And I think we managed to learn everything we needed to learn from good old Ghostlight in that video segment of his that I just shared. So yeah, hopefully people, you are going to hit up Ghostlight and take a little look. See, he is freaking awesome. I guess you just saw a snippet of awesomeness there. Anyway, people, until next time, you've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people. He is a super backer like a Jedi Master like Obi-Wan. His name is Kev B1. Thank you from Captain Steve. Kev B1. Kev B1. Kev. Thank you, B1. Kev B1. Kev B1. Thank you. Have backed me for over 50 months. It's awesome to have a fan like you Blows me away that you're here to stay Supporting me as you do Honestly, mate, thank you He is a super backer like a Jedi Master like Obi-Wan. His name is Kev B. Watt. Thank you from Captain Steve. Kev B. Watt. Kev B. Watt. Kev. Thank you B. Watt. Kev B. Watt. Kev B. Watt. You have backed me for over 50 months. It's awesome to have a fan like you Blows me away that you're here to stay Supporting me as you do